It was one of Louisville's darkest days. A mass shooter opening fire on his co-workers at Old National Bank. Wave News troubleshooter Natalia Martinez previews our exclusive Wave Originals documentary that airs tomorrow on the mass shooting that devastated so many lives. On April 10th, a mass shooter took the lives of five of his co-workers and injured several others. The event shook the city and devastated so many others. For the past few months, we've been gathering stories directly from those families who lost their loved ones, the survivors, and the heroes who saved lives that day. Wave News is proud to share their courage and determination to keep fighting through the pain. We present a preview of the Wave Originals documentary, 23 Seconds, A Louisville Mass Shooting. The caller explained what she saw on that video conference. We knew that it was gonna be bad, um, but I don't think that we really expected how bad it was. Let me get the run sent up. Can you just stay on the line with me, okay? One moment here. Okay. This video is still going. Oh my God. There's no, I can't see anything now. It's up to the ground. We had reports that indicated it could really be a, a really huge event. I could see this run come up, and I knew I had to get that run dispatched as soon as possible. Dispatcher said, Can you go to the service channel? I need to put this out. That piqued my curiosity because that rarely happens. And her voice, I'd never heard that before. We have shots fired, 333 East Main at the Old National Bank. We've all heard uh, actor shooter before, and okay, you know, what, what is getting ready to happen? And they turn out to be what they call swatting calls or just bogus calls. Nothing really clicked to me until so the dispatcher says, I have another phone call from inside the bank. and. There are four people down, so I'm gone. And the phones started lighting up. The, the board was turning red. Um, multiple people were calling in. There are only so many call takers on shift at a time. It became obvious there was something to this. This was not gonna be a false call. And I actually stood up and I asked my supervisors to send me some help. And one of my coworkers, Emily David, came over to help me. I was just sitting down, putting my headset back on whenever the run popped up and um, I could hear, you know, sort of rumblings around the room. Oh, an uh, active aggressor. And, and my partner on the fire desk, I could hear him start to knock out the units. 315's on that three. 120 met three. 102 met three. Battalion 15 on met three. It was just absolute chaos on the air. You could, you had all of the responders coming and you know there were lights flashing in the room and you know people yelling back and forth and the phones were ringing that sense of panic almost and and uh but you have to turn that into what can i do to help Our documentary film premieres tomorrow at 7 p.m. on WAVE, and you can also live stream the broadcast or watch it later on WAVE3.com. Just look for the WAVE Originals tab. Natalia Martinez, WAVE News.